guys, this is Eve with Scrapbooking with Me, and I thought today I would try to work on some of Kara's uh, Christmas tags. I've got one through nine, I believe it is, and then I think this is number 10, if I'm not mistaken, and this is 11, so two is probably all that I'm going to get done. Now, she also has this. And I'm think this is a freebie, but I'm thinking it's over on her buy me a coffee, I believe. Um, you might check with her if you don't find it. Just leave her a comment under her YouTube or something. But these are the days that you can put on the tags. You know, you could even hang them off the side with these little holes up here. But she has these as a freebie if you want to get those from her. Just check with Kara to make sure exactly where they are. I went ahead and cut some pieces out just so it wouldn't take me quite so long. And I probably just need to cut around that. I've got Miss Betty texting me back and forth. So if you hear a ding ding, that's that's her. We are talking, which we talk most days. But she's talking about cheese curls right now. She wants to come up here because we have cheese curls that she can't get where she lives. So I said, oh, you just want to come up here to get cheese curls. She said, well, you have me figured out. So I said, well, I guess you can come for cheese curls then. We'll just make sure we stock her up. Let's see. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and score these little lines here. Yeah, I've gotten behind on these, but, you know, even if you haven't purchased these yet off of her Etsy store, and I will leave her link below, even if you have not, don't think that it's too late to get started because you've got plenty of time to do these. You can probably sit down and do three or four a day or five a day, more than me, anyway. While I've got this out, I'm going to go ahead and score this. Um, with all the other things I've had going on, I just I haven't been able to get back to them. You still got plenty of time. And these you can attach. I don't know exactly how Kara intended for them to be. But I was thinking you can even attach these to your presents. And, you know, you could use some of these for little money pouches. Things like that. But you could attach them to your presents with a little Christmas string. And that would be nice. Or you could just give them to friends. Whatever you would want to do with them. They're very versatile. Okay, and I think that's the way that one is supposed to go together. I'm going to go ahead and pull that over a little bit and just make sure that I get it scored in the middle. But yeah, I have gotten really far behind on them, so I told Kara, I said, I'm so sorry, I've got behind. She said, not to worry. I know other people, some people have just started theirs, and that's okay. There's no exact time when you have to have them started or finished. You just do them when you have time to do them. Now I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. I don't know that she intended for that to be like that, but I think she did just to cover up that white on the inside. That's how I'm going to do mine anyway. So I am going to glue this down. Miss Brookie come over and worked with me some today, but she didn't didn't have time to get a video done. She said she would have to come back sometime over the weekend and do her video. So I'll probably see her over the weekend and we'll get her another video up. She's getting to be very popular. She's going to take over. <laughs> and that'd be fine. You know what? That would be fine if she did. I don't mind. But... I, I'm so thankful that you guys are telling her that you enjoy her videos because she is reading every single comment. She can't respond to all of them yet because her dad still has her, you know, on the uh, kids YouTube thing. And so she can't really go in and respond, but she can read them anyway. And she's read them all. And she always sends me a message and says, Nanny, make sure you go in and like all of those, okay? <laughs> so I have been... I have been going in and locking them for her. Okay, I think this goes down in here, but again, I have cut mine a little bit wide, I think, so I'm going to trim it off just a little. 
just a sliver on each side, I think. Make it a little bit easier to go down in there because I did cut that by hand. So, and then I am going to ink around mine just to cover up any white places or any place that I might have got out of line a little bit. And then that would slide right down in there. So that's cute. I like that. Um, let's see. And I think these little pieces went with this. So we have a little, what is that? That's like a little ticket, maybe? I don't know. What is, I don't know. It's like a little advertisement, I think. Um, and you could probably put this on the inside, but I'm thinking I might just put mine on the outside here somewhere. probably put it on the tag but I think I'm gonna put mine on the outside or if you wanted to decorate the back side up you could do that too but I think I'm gonna leave that as is and I don't mind covering up a few of these words that's fine with me not a problem and then this one says ho 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 and this one says dear Santa and I think I might use the dear Santa I think when I cut these out, I kept them separated. I hope I did anyway. I may be using the wrong embellishments on the wrong one. Who knows? Okay. So put that down there. And you can see how things look when you ink around them a little bit. It just kind of makes them blend better with your project. Uh, we may put Ho 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 on here somewhere. Let's just put it right there at the top, and then we can probably see at least part of it. It also has uh, this Santa that came with this one, but that seems to be a little bit big. I may turn that into just a card and put another card in there, because that's big enough for a card. So I may just let that be another journaling card. Matter of fact, let's see, we might can go ahead and cut that now. And this is probably not anything like what she planned, but that's the good part of doing these. You don't have to do exactly what somebody else did. These are do-your-own-thing projects. Let's go ahead and trim this off a little bit. And it doesn't have to be the exact size of my other one. I was just marking it so that I wouldn't cut it too small or lopsided. That looks pretty good. And we could put something here. I know these go with this one. So let's put that over there. But we also have... The little buttons and the little let me see if I've got something laying right here that we could put there I had my Christmas pieces out I might just pull something out of here to put there okay what if we put a couple hearts and these are just out of my little Christmas embellishments just want to fill in this little bit of white right here. All right, and then we'll put this little label that just says traditions. Straighten it up a little bit. There we go. And then I'll go ahead and ink around it to make it look more finished and not like we just cut this out of a piece of paper, which we did, but just make it look more finished. And you could round the corners or whatever, but there's another nice journaling card. We're going to put these, both of these in here. 
So there is that one. Ready to go. That is number 10, I believe it is. Let me count and see. There's one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That says nine, but I think that's ten. Seven, eight, nine. That's number nine. It's um, according to what I'm counting here. That's number nine. So this must be ten. I was thinking that was ten, but anyway, you will be able to see when you go over and grab her little. When you go over and grab the kit, you'll be able to see exactly what number is what. Because I, I cut mine off and then I forget what number is what usually. Okay, now this is like a little file folder. And it's got a little card that you can put in it. Or you can use her tags. She has a tag sheet that you can cut some of these little tags out and put in there. So whichever one that you would want to do. I'm just going to decorate this up a little bit and then we will figure out what we want to put inside. And I may go ahead and use a, use a pre-cut embellishment just because these are already cut out for me. And I like the size of these with this little piece here. So let's see what we can. And some of these are way too big for me to use on my other projects. Oh, that moose is cute, but we need something behind him. So let's see what we could grab to put behind him. Maybe a book page. I have plenty of book pages because Brooklyn helped me tear book pages out of the old books today and uh, that we have been selling on the website. And, of course, you know, she tore a few of them. <laughs> and I said, don't throw them away. Nanny will use them. She's like, Nanny, I don't understand how you use old book pages. So, one day I will have to sit her down and show her exactly what we do with old book pages. But she was just, she said, we're going to do what? I said, well, you wanted to work, right? And she said, yes, ma'am. I said, we're going to tear book pages out of old books and get them ready for everybody. And she said, you mean people like these? <laughs> I said, yes, people love these. She said, okay. And some of these books are very, very old. You can see how fragile that paper is. They were very, very old, like some of them was 100 years old. And I said, these book pages are a lot older than you are. She said, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go with that. And we're going to put some ink on here. This just gives a little bit of a background for the moose to stand on. You don't have to do this. It just, I think sometimes it kind of blocks. See, when I put it directly down on that, to me that's too busy. But when I put a little bit of something behind him, even though the book page is kind of busy, it helps break that up, if that makes sense to anybody. To any anybody. To me, it just helps break the patterns a little bit. And then you can see the moose a little better. Okay, now, I'm going to trim around the moose, but I am going to cut this out because this is going to take me a minute or two. And I'm not, I'm just going to do some very rough trimming. Okay. I roughly trimmed him out, and then I'm just going to ink the other parts of that white. Now, as I start to use these pieces, I'll come back and may even add other things to them. These are just, I'm just trying to use what's in her kit now with maybe an extra piece here and there. And then as I add them to whatever I put them on, if I put them on presents or if I put them in my journals, I will 
probably most likely add two. You could leave them just as they are. They're very pretty as they are. Or you could add something to them if you wanted. Oh, I like that moose on there. Yeah. And then I do need some kind of label. So we've got a good label here. Let's cut this one out. Y'all remember um, Miss Presley, when you say your prayers, if you would, she's taken losing Papa really, really hard. She, she doesn't want anybody to talk about him. She doesn't want to see any of his pictures. Um, if we start talking about him, she'll leave the room. She'll just get up and leave the room. And... Alicia tries to talk to her about it, and she she don't want to talk. She's trying to block it out, I know, and I don't think that's good for her. But just remember her that she she can work her way through this. To um, this, let's see, the fifth is her birthday, and Papa always always made a big big deal on the grandbaby's birthdays. And this will be her first birthday without him, so she is struggling right now. She is really struggling. So, y'all do remember Miss Presley. I hate to see my babies struggling over anything. I'm looking for a tag or something over here is what I'm digging through. I wanted to put something here, but I don't think I have a tag that's small enough. So I may just have to wait and um, I have to print up one to go there. I'll get it out in a minute. Blah, blah, blah. Stumbling and stammering over my words. Yeah, I don't see one in here at all. So I'll just wait on that. Oh, let's see. I want to put this guy in there, this little piece. You could also cover the inside of this. She's got some beautiful background pages that you could cover the inside of that with if you wanted to. I think right now I'm going to leave mine. I might cover it later on. Or I might put that there and then leave this side for journaling. Why don't we do that? I like that. Uh, let's see. You know what I might do? I might just cut. Let me just cut this off and I'll use that. This is an extra little embellishment that I had laying there. I think it'll work. Yeah, just the right size. And this is using just things that's on my desk and things that come in the kit, so. Oh, yeah, I like that. That's cute. Okay, so what else do we want to do? I think I might go ahead and cut a couple of these and put, it, put them in there. And let's see, which ones do I want? I think I want the plaid one. Or gingham, whatever this is. I'll save those other ones 
for the other tags. And that needs something on it desperately because it's all plaid and I like to break the break it up a little bit. So let's see what we have here. Oh, we could put that on there. Let's do that. And, and she has plenty in her kits, plenty of embellishments. As you can see, there's other things here. I just had these on my desk, and I'm going to use try to use them up on a couple of projects. So I thought, well, I can use these and some of her things that she has in there, too. There we go. And then let's cut this out. And it says it's the most wonderful time of the year. Right, there we go. We've got both of those. And I think I'm going to... There's a little clip here. This is one of the Tim Holtz little clips. And I think what I'm going to do to keep these in there is I'm just going to clip them on this side right here. Just like that. Use that little clip. Still closes up. And we've got that. So that is it. That is, what did I say, 9 and 10? And then I, will pr I haven't got the other ones printed yet. I will go ahead and print those other ones off. And we'll come back and get those done. And maybe we'll get them all finished up. Maybe not this week, but by the first of next week. Because I have a journal that I think I'm going to make a complete journal just for these tags and pockets. So I think it's just going to be a journal dedicated to these. I have that in mind, so we'll see if it, com if it comes true. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all the support and the prayers and everything that you give me. You guys are the most amazing people in the world. I can tell you that. I've got the best subscribers that anybody could ever have and I don't want any of you to go anywhere. <laughs> you are stuck with me. <laughs> All right, we will talk to you guys later. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Bye-bye.